Hello, Virgos. I am here to do your love update. This is for the upcoming week. That will be today until next Friday. All right, today is September the 11th. This reading will go through uh, September the 18th, okay? All right, so this is for Virgo Sun and Rising. Keep in mind it is a general reading, so it will not resonate with all Virgos, okay? So please take the messages that resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. All right, so this is for my Virgos. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Virgos, okay? You will remain first on the list for readings throughout your season, okay? All right, so we've already meditated on the cards. I've called in uh, the divine for divine assistance, all right? We're going to go ahead and get started. Please keep in mind, I am just the messenger, all right? Delivering the messages from the divine, the card between you and your person, we have the Ace of Cups. Your person has the Nine of Cups. You have the High Priestess, Virgo. Okay. All right. So it looks like some love is coming back into the situation. Could be new love, you know? Could be. Um, but you are someone's um, wish fulfillment uh, as it relates to their emotions. Something that they've been hoping and wishing for, right? makes them extremely happy and you love this person and this person loves you okay you have the high priestess so this is something that you were willing to move forward in right without even knowing if it was going to work out without being um attached attached to the outcome right you're all in you're all in usually virgo is attached to the outcome but this, this time, or this, I keep hearing this go around, Virgo. I'm just the messenger. But this time, you know, or this go around, you are not attached to the outcome. It's like you are, you're going with the flow, which is out of the norm for Virgo, okay? But you will be going with the flow. This could be an energy that you're currently in, or this is something that's, that you'll soon be in, or something that you could have recently come out of. Like, this could have already happened. All right, let's continue here. This is for my Virgos. All right, Virgo. So the energy between the two of you, we have the three of pentacles working together, right? Collaborating. Your person has the page of cups. Oh, they are definitely offering their cup and you have temperance. Now you're going to accept their cup and, and you just want to be balanced. Everything in moderation. You're not trying to do too much too fast. You know, you just want to... It's like you just want to enjoy the moment. You're living in the moment right now. All right? You're living in the moment right now. But this is absolutely beautiful. All right. But you do, it's like the two of you are definitely going to work together on this thing. Both are willing. Both are doing equal share. And this person just, they're sure. They're sure about offering you this cup. They're sure. All right? No, no doubts, no questions. All right. So let's see what other messages is out here for you, Virgo. All right. So we have the Four of Swords. Your person has the Tower. You have the Five of Pentacles. Goddamn. What just happened? All right. So let's see what took place. I felt that coming. I felt that coming, Virgo. May not be a bad thing. May not be all bad. All right. So, okay, my cards don't want to shuffle. This is for my Virgos. That's Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for my Virgos. What do they need to know, please? What are the messages? What are the messages for Virgo? Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? This is for Virgo. Alright, so let's pull three for your person's energy and then we'll pull three for your energy, Virgo. Alright, so do I need three cards for Virgo's person energy? 
we have falling in love or holding on thank you all right we need two more for virgo's person's energy we have cleansing and we have reconciliation i was feeling it with someone from your past I was feeling that. All right, Virgo. So let's see what your energy is as it relates to this person that you're thinking about or this person who's showing up in your reading. All right. This is for my Virgos. We need three cards, please. This is for my Virgos. All right. This is for my Virgos. Oh, sorry, bump the table. It's missing you. All right, let's see if we can get two more here. This is for my Virgos. Blessings, divine approval, and separation or divorce. All right. Bottom of the deck was nostalgia before I started shuffling. All right. So, Virgo, it's definitely someone from your past, especially with the nostalgia card that was at the bottom just prior to me shuffling so it looks like this person wants they're holding on to you i feel like there was a separation between the two of you and i feel like you're just a little bit leery you think about whatever happened from the past between you and this person i feel like you probably have conversations or bring this up to this person whenever you do talk to this person you know and this per this this every time you talk about how they made you feel it really makes this person you know it, it it's it's it takes a toll on this person just being reminded or hearing you you know state what they did or how they made you feel right i don't feel like you guys are connected you may i do feel like you're talking but i don't feel like you guys are connected in this moment I do feel like you've had a conversation with this person or you will soon have a conversation with this person um, about feelings, how you're feeling about them, but mainly how they're feeling about you. I feel like your responses is going to be more about, you know, that you're, you know, focusing on yourself, you know, you're trying to do things in moderation, you know, it's all about rhythms with you right now, you're not rushing into anything, you know, you'll think about it, or I'm going to take my time, something to that effect is your responses to this person, even though you do, you do care about this person, you miss this person with the missing card here, you do care about this person, you do. All right. Um, now, I do feel like the divine is working in the background with their energy being cleansing and calmness and your energy being blessing mid reading here. I definitely feel like the divine is working on trying to um, usher this connection back together. Now, they definitely want a second chance with you with this reconciliation. They want to they want to rekindle things with this reconciliation card and this ace of cups. And you're there. You're definitely the one that they want with this nine of cups here. Right. And I feel like you guys were separated up, maybe still separated. And it took this separation for this person to to understand that or come to terms with that. You know, this is them resting, thinking about things and, and pretty much coming to terms with it. They're not necessarily overthinking it anymore. They're accepting. They're accepting of it and having peace of mind. Right. Peace of mind with it. OK, so they've moved on. I feel like, you know, this person has changed due to this separation. I feel like this person has changed. I also feel like you've changed. All right. I feel like this person is wiser. I feel like they're wiser. I feel like they understand how their actions 
created their current circumstances. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to clarify two of these. We're going to start with separation. Why is it here, please? And Virgo's energy. Okay, that was quick. We have the magician. We have the two of wands. We have the two of pentacles. And we have the devil in reverse. So what this is saying, uh, basically, you know, you you worked. You were, it took a miracle for you to get past whatever this person did that put you in this five of pentacles. It took a lot with this magician card, you manifested your way out of it, right? So it's like, I feel like this is something that you dealt with for quite some time, right? And I feel like it took you a while to be able to get out of it, right? Um, you, but you finally chose a path to lead. Like at that fork in the road, you chose the path to leave this person behind. You didn't choose the path to go back to this person. You chose the path to leave this person behind, which brought in some balance for you. Okay, I feel like that brought forth balance for you because I feel like the situation was very toxic for you and you just didn't want to have that type of energy around you anymore. Okay, you just, it was something that was very, um, I feel like it was very difficult for you. I feel like it took, um, it took a lot. It took, it took a lot for you to get past this, right? I just, I really feel an energy of, of struggle, you know, that you had with this because of course it's in the reverse now, but it had to start here. Okay. And now it's like you've gained your power back. Okay? You've gained your power back. But at one point, you know, this card was in the upright for you. There was bondage. There was like unhealthy attachments with this person. It was like, you know, uh, uh, toxic cycles with this person, right? It's what That's what I'm getting. That's what I feel. Okay? And you, you finally got past that. So now this devil card is in reverse for you. Okay, let's continue, Virgo. All right, so let's see about this. <sighs> you do miss this person, but let's see what their tower moment is. Tell me about the... Okay, thank you. Their tower moment, okay, has something to do with marriage. You could have, and we have divorce here. You could have divorced this person, or maybe you guys were engaged and something took place. Or maybe there was just a, you know, maybe there were talks of marriage and moving forward. And maybe that had something to do with this tower moment for this person. Let's continue here. I'm not going to take those. All right, tell me more, please, about the tower. Why is it here for Virgo's person? Why is the tower here for Virgo's person, please? Thank you. All right. All right. So, yeah, it's... Oh, okay. Yeah, so what we have is we have the Hierophant. We have the four of cups. So this person is still holding on to you. They're holding you in their emotions still at this moment. But I do feel like there was some kind of third party energy or something new that they started with someone else. Right. And found and it was found out. OK, we have the judgment here. So there was some type of karmic lesson that took place. And I, here's the eight of pentacles in um in reverse. So it was like a sense of this person was not working on it or was not doing the work. They were not doing the work, you know, and I just get a strong sense of this person with this hair font here and holding on. It could have been that they felt like they had you. You would never leave and they can do whatever they wanted to do because they weren't worried about you leaving. OK. But you you, in fact, did you, in fact, did leave. Because I see it here, you know. And this two of wands, you chose a path. And with this being reversed, it was away from this person. So they didn't think you would leave, but you in fact did. Thus is the reason they have reconciliation here. Otherwise, if you were still there, there would be no need to reconcile because you'd still be with this person. Correct? Correct. All right. So let's find out about, let's find out about this four of swords. 
Okay, so these cards have a lot to, yeah. You see, so this person had some player energy and I feel like you tell this person, maybe, you know, nowadays you tell them, you remind them, remind them, okay, of the things that they've done and how it made you feel. Yes, with this tower, it was very challenging for you with this tower coming out sideways. So that, you know, and, and by you discussing this with this person, that's why they're in the four of wands here. Like they're really, you know, playing back things that you said and really realizing, you know, what they did to you and how they made you feel. Now, this person does, in fact, love you, but they didn't love you the right way. Now they want an opportunity to do it the right way. But, you know, you're not sure because this person made you feel left out in the cold. And we have temperance here as well that I just noticed was turned over. So you're just trying to be balanced at this point. And, you know, you didn't have that when you were dealing with this person, clearly. Okay? So now this person is in a cleansing calmness type of energy. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. I really feel like this person has transformed. We have the three of wands. Yeah, so they're they're trying. Oh, we have the Queen of Swords. Kind of like a challenge. It's kind of sideways, but not all the way. So this person worries. It's like it's not a challenge. They'll still talk to you, but they do worry about what you're gonna say. Um, but they're still waiting on you. This person is waiting. They're in an energy of waiting for you. Anything else? Okay. All right, so yeah, they're definitely in an energy of waiting for you. Um, they do, you know, they struggle with coming towards you because they worry about what you might say. Okay. And we also see that here with this four of swords and, you know, things that they've done and you bringing that to the forefront, reminding them. And they don't like to be reminded. It... It appears they don't want to. They don't want to think about it. They would like to just move past it with this reconciliation, but you can't really go past it like it never happened because it in fact did, and you were affected. Okay. All right, Virgo. So let's see what else we can get here. All right. So this is for Virgo. This is for the birthday Virgos. Birthdays. All right. My birthday zodiacs. Let's see. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. All right. So romance angels, what are the messages for my Virgos, please? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Virgo someone rising. What do they need to know for their highest good, please? This could be the one. Oh, we have two. Make the effort. Interesting. This is for my Virgos. Someone rising. What are the messages? What are the messages, please? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? mind is at the bottom of the deck and then we have waiting hmm, interesting it's safe for you to love so virgo the divine basically we seen that you this person wants to come in they're trying to offer their love at this point but you're skeptical we've seen that in the previous spread here and so you're being told to make the effort because this this person this is the person unfortunately if you know if that's not what you want to hear but this is your person we've seen that this person throughout your readings this person has been going through a very serious transformation dark night of the soul okay i won't forget it so the divine is asking you to keep an open mind because this person is not the same person that they were before okay now you still have free will you don't have to listen to this because you have 
your free will and the divine will never impose on your free will okay so keep that in mind it's still up to you but just you know just saying it's, it's there it's at the bottom i'm gonna see what's behind it but i won't tell you oh we seen what was behind that um, interesting okay so let's see what advice we have for you this is for my virgos what is the advice what is the advice for my virgos please Virgo sun moon rising what is the advice please so okay same same messages here so we have the crumbling we have uh lemura and we have awakening so basically what this is here to say is you can create your heaven on earth it's already happening for you this is happening for you but it, you have to let those bring those walls down right you have to bring those walls down um you're holding on to the past with the crumbling. You're clinging to the past or the old version of this person. And you're being asked to let that go. Okay. Um, and we have awakening. So, and this says a new way of being. Okay. A new way of being and integration. This person has gone through this transformation. They've had an awakening. This person is different. They're just trying to kind of hit home with that. But it's up to you, Virgo, if you want to accept that or not. But that was two spreads that basically told you the same thing, okay? So, Virgo, that is your reading, my lovely Virgos. Thank you for coming and watching today. Um, I will do another reading for my Virgos tomorrow, of course, because it's still your birthday. So, extra readings for my Virgos. All right. So, if this resonates with you, please like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Let me know how this is playing out for you, okay? I would love to hear your story. All right. Uh, if it does not resonate with you, that's okay. Please watch your moon and rising um, readings to see if there's any messages there for you. Thank you for watching, Virgo. Bye-bye.